well, we are worshipful, worshipful creatures. There is no such thing as a neutral state of being for a human being. No, it doesn't exist. That we can just be self-fulfilled, self-reliant, self-functioning entities that just get rid of all of our desires and don't... It's not possible. We're always searching for an object of worship. And until you understand that about the human race and about yourself, that you're always searching and you can turn yourself into that object of worship, but we're always searching for some form something to latch ourselves onto, to pour ourselves out to, because we're unsatisfied, constantly unsatisfied with everything around us. Everything doesn't make sense or can't find meaning unless we find the greatest source of worship that we can pour ourselves into it, and we pick wrong things all the time. We pick health and fertility or longevity or whatever it might be. What are the temptations we're, we're tempted to pick? We pick them all the time, and the, the, the message from, from Scripture time and time again is there's no neutral state. You, the only way you'll be, ever be fully satisfied, the, the only way you'll ever know truly who you are, the only way that you'll find true meaning in life is if you, pour, you learn to pour yourself out to and latch yourself onto and have this radical relationship with the one true God of the Bible, Yahweh. You know what feels really good? Hitting that beautiful like button is just sitting right there all alone with nothing to do. Help it live to its fullest potential. You know what else feels really good? Embracing that subscribe button. It's like a puppy begging for attention. Just showing it a little bit of love goes a long way. Like and subscribe.